Hey there again fellow YouTubers, Max here with another edition of the Double X Vlogs of Max. This is of course going to be the finals round one edition AGT vlog, of course, because as many of you know, the finals, round one of the finals of AGT happened last night, and I figured I'd do a vlog basically to let you all know my top four who I think will be going through to the final episode of AGT next week or what is supposed to be the final episode of AGT next week so I will be of course sharing my picks with you who I think the top four will be that will go through to the final show and will be duking it out for the main prize and the chance to win a million dollars and head, be a headlining act in Vegas. And I'll also go through the acts of the night that didn't really impress me and that I didn't really like that much. For the most part, the acts that did impress me were most of them. There was only, I think, two that didn't impress me. And I'll get to those, obviously, momentarily. But first, I'd like to start off this vlog by basically giving yet another shout-out to fellow YouTube vlogger. For those of you who have visited my page and have noticed my top five favorite YouTube vloggers, this lovely, beautiful, and talented lady by the name of Crazy Kate is my second favorite vlogger on my top five favorite YouTube vloggers list and basically I'd like to take this time to thank her because she took the time to not only thank me for the shout out I gave her in my recent vlog but also she posted my recent vlog on her FB page to show people it and thanks to that my last vlog got 17 hits which is the most hits any one of my double x vlogs and maxes got well I guess there was one that got like 55 60 hits maybe more but pretty much lately my past vlogs haven't been getting that many hits but my last one did thanks to crazy Kate posting it on her page she thanked she checked it out and thanked me for the shout out and my last video and the comment and she posted and she was nice enough to post on our page so I just want to start off this vlog by personally thanking Crazy Kate I really appreciate you posting my video on your page on FB and Facebook for those of you who don't know what FB means I really appreciate you posting my video on your FB page really meant a lot I love your channel you always do great exciting interesting vlogs plenty of your vlogs always make me laugh and they're always interesting to watch so I just want to say Crazy Kate keep up the great vlogs and hopefully one day I'll be lucky enough to get a vlog where basically a uh, shout out in one of your video vlogs that is my hope that one day you'll give me a shout out in one of them like you have with other YouTube vloggers but yeah just want to take the time to thank you for that really appreciate the thank you for the shout out it was my pleasure to give you a shout out because you're a great vlogger chick absolutely love your vlogs so yeah Anyway, with that being said, I will of course move on to my top four of this week. And my top four for this week, this round of for the results show, which will be on tonight of AGT, are of course Anna Graceman, Silhouettes, Pop Life, and Landau Eugene Murphy Jr. All of these acts did great. All of them have what it takes to make it to the finals and even win the show and 
basically they are my top four choices. Anna Graceman, obviously, everyone out there knows I'm a huge fan of hers. She's a really amazing singer. Eleven years old, she's cute. What was interesting about her act tonight is she didn't have the piano like she usually would have. And it was just interesting to see her without the piano. I was really impressed with her act tonight. She really she really shone she really showed that she doesn't need the piano to be a star, obviously. And I was really impressed by that. So let's they always impress me with their act. It's inter it's interesting the kind of shadows and shapes that they make during their act, combining dance and shadow and it's just a spectacle to watch and I could totally see this being a Vegas act if Silhouettes end up winning the whole show. It, they're totally Vegas material, just like Anna Graceman. And of course my third choice was Pop Life, mainly because they're a great band. Oh, and I also finally know the name of the lead singer girl that I didn't really know her name before. Her name's Kaylani, and I just want to say to you, Kaylani, you did an amazing job tonight. You and the rest of Pop Life, you all did an amazing job. I hope you make it on to the last round of the finals. And if you do end up winning AGT, I'll be very happy for you because you're an inspiration to me. You're an inspiration to Alex of the BA Vlogs as well. She's a fellow YouTube vlogger and number one on my top five favorite YouTube vloggers list. So you're an inspiration to her, I know, because she told me you were an inspiration to her. And you're also an inspiration to me, so thank you. Keep doing what you're doing and never give up on what you're doing because you guys are amazing at what you do. Even if you don't win HET, you guys have a bright future ahead of you with your band Pop Life. And of course, my fourth choice, shouldn't have been no surprise, Landell Eugene Murphy Jr. And the reason I chose Landau is simply because, like I've said before, time and time again, not only is this guy a star, but as far as I'm concerned, he is the living reincarnation of Frank Sinatra. This guy come this guy is an amazing singer. He sounds like Frank Sinatra when he sings. In fact, I consider him the reincarnation of Frank Sinatra. If Frank Sinatra was going to be reincarnated in someone, that someone could very well be Landau Eugene Murphy Jr. The guy's an amazing singer. He sounds like Frank Sinatra. I think tonight he did a Tony Bennett song. I'm not sure. It might have been by some other artist. But I can't really recall off the top of my head. And yeah, he did amazing. Landau Eugene Murphy Jr. Hope to see you in next week's finals round two. And it'd be interesting to see you win the whole show because you're definitely a Vegas style act that I'm sure lots of people would love to see. And yeah. So I'll move on, of course. And of course, like I said earlier in the vlog, I would be doing a section on acts that I didn't think were all that great and why I didn't think they were all that great. There are basically two acts in this category that I didn't think were all that great and basically those acts were of course the Miami All-Stars and Liz Agnes or Liz Agnes. Never really sure how to pronounce her name and I apologize to her if I'd got her name wrong. But yeah, basically for those of you who are wondering why the Miami All-Stars are in this category, basically, to put it quite simply, their act was more of a cheerleader routine than a dancing routine. And I know some of you out there are saying that to cheerlead. Excuse me. I know some of you out there who do cheerleading are saying 
that cheerleading is dancing. And yes, in a way, there is a certain element of dancing when it comes to cheerleading. I know this because I've known people that were cheerleaders and stuff like that. But basically tonight, their routine didn't seem like a all-out, full-blown dance act like they're used to doing. And it was just disappointing for simply that reason, because usually they do these amazing dance choreography acts. And tonight, it seemed like they were lacking in that. They didn't have any amazing dance moves, and it seemed more like a cheerleading routine rather than this all-out dance routine that usually wows people. It's just this boring, dull, cheerleading type routine compared to their usual amazing dance routine. And for that reason, it was just disappointing to say the least. But anyway, that's basically why I didn't like that one. And Lee Agnes. Basically, she took a huge risk. She chose an Aerosmith song. I think it was Dream On by Aerosmith. And basically, she tried to make it into an opera song. And normally, she does really good making songs into opera songs, but like hit rock songs and stuff like that into opera songs. But this time around, it just went down miserably. Like, it didn't work as an opera song, Dream On by Aerosmith, and her voice, she took it to a lower register and she just didn't sound as great. And to be honest, I don't see Lee Zagnus winning the whole show, even if she does get to the finals round two, because there's plenty of great opera singers out there and not many people are into that genre. I know some people are into that genre, and I apologize to those of you who I offend by saying what I've said, but basically you're not pretty much, there's not a lot of people that like the um, opera genre, and you, if for a Vegas act to be sustainable it needs to be something that's interesting to the masses that people are going to like and you're going to enjoy watching over and over again. Now, of course, there was some there was some picks that my dad had this week. My dad did his own little top four, and basically his top four goes simply like this. Anna Graceman, number one, The Smage Brothers Riding Show, Landau Eugene Murphy Jr., and Team Illuminate. Now, The Smage Brothers... I could see them going all the way and winning the winning AGT, but at the same time, I can't really see them being all that great of a Las Vegas act, simply because their act is the kind of act that, sure, it's interesting, but it would probably get boring after a while, and you wouldn't really, not many people would have much interest in watching it. And Team Illuminate as great of an act as they have, it's one of those acts that after a while you'd get sick of watching it type of thing. Not that it's not a great act, but they already have acts like Team Illuminate in Las Vegas, at least I'm pretty sure they do, and I could see them making it through and winning the thing, but at the same time, I don't think their act has what it takes to last, just like with the Smage Brothers writing show. I don't think it's sustainable and has what it takes to last in the Las Vegas setting. But anyway, those of course have been my top four picks. I mentioned the two that I didn't like and why I didn't like them and my dad's top four picks. And I just figured I'd do a vlog basically sharing with you guys my top four picks. And yeah, anyway, this has been another Double X Vlogs of Max. I am, of course, Max Callen, and I also want to show off, I shaved my hair recently, kind of a new look, it was kind of uh, getting pretty hot out, so I figured I'd shave my head, my dad helped me out with that, because the shaver kind of stuck on me, but, yeah, 
I think it looks pretty good. It's kind of a new look. I shaved my facial hair a little bit too. And yeah, basically I just figured I'd unveil my new look. It's nice to have short hair like this because you don't have to wash it as much and it doesn't get all sticky and sweaty like it does when I have longer hair. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this vlog with Max. It's okay if you didn't. But anyway, this has been another double X vlog with Max. I had a great Labor Day weekend. I hope you all did too last weekend. And catch on the flip side, people.